hey guys and welcome back to the channel thank you so much for joining me on another video today's video is going to be all about me budgeting out my full-time paycheck from my full-time job and I received that paycheck on November 20th so we are going to sit down budget out that paycheck put some cash into our envelopes and then make some contribution towards our debt snowball if you are new here this channel primarily focuses on me getting out of debt and I'm showcasing my journey and I am using the help of the cash envelopes to gain control of my finances so if that is something that you would like to learn or you just find interesting watching please do not forget to go down below and hit that subscribe button to join the family because I would love to have you but with all of that let's just get into budgeting out this paycheck so here we have my paycheck sheets that I like to use to break down my paycheck as I said we're working with paycheck number two November 20th I've already gone ahead and wrote down all of the categories that I will be working with, so we will just go through the amounts together. So to start us off, we have expenses, and first up is files. Files is for my internet, and that will be $60 that I will pay towards that. After files is my rent. Rent I split between both paychecks, and to be completed for my December 1st rent, for the second half, I will put in $635. So I am good with that. Moving on next is PSCNG, and this is for my gas and electric bill. At the moment, I do not know what the bill is. It's still a little too early to tell. So I will just put away $70 as of now because that's what I budgeted. And then once I get the actual bill, if it's less, I will put it towards my debt. And then if it's more, I have like a little buffer in my account and I pay it that way. So now we have Netflix, Hulu, and Apple Music. And these are for my subscriptions. And this will be the last month that I will have to budget for these because starting next year, I saved up for it with my annual subscriptions envelope. And I will no longer have to budget for these. So I'm excited for that. So Netflix will be $6, Hulu is $6, and Apple Music is $10. So those are all of my subscriptions. And then lastly, I have gas for my car. I keep that on my debit card and that will be $30 that I will be putting towards that. So when it comes to all of my expenses, these are just the things that I keep in my checking account. I do not take physical cash out for these. So when we add up all of this, we come to a total of $817. Now we're moving over to the cash portion. First up is car payment. I did make my car payment for this month and then this is the second half which I use as my debt snowball. So the second half will be $42 that I'm putting over there. After that I have my car insurance that will be due on the 25th of this month and for the second half of that payment I am putting away $106 to complete that. And then the same goes for Great Lakes for my student loans. That is due on the 26th. And for the second half, I will put away $131 to complete that. Now we move on to the things that I keep in my wallet 24-7. First up is spending. Spending will get $40. Groceries is getting $100. Toiletries is getting $45. And clothing will be getting $20. So when we add up all of the cash portion, that comes to a total of $484. Sinking funds will be left blank. I did just do um, a video with my side income and that is where I fund my sinking funds. So for now, that is going to be empty, but I will be making some adjustments come the new year. So I will be making a video talking about my financial 2021 goals soon. So you guys will see everything that's to come with that. I'm just finalizing a couple of things on it, but that is to come. So look out for that. Next up is extra debt. So my extra debt, if you do not know, is going to be my car. So for a car payment towards my extra debt from this paycheck, I am able to put $248. And and for savings, this will be left blank. I do already take out my savings from this paycheck before I even get the paycheck. And for a rollover, or this is what I call my buffer or a cushion, many different names, I put $5 every paycheck and then just let that accumulate. So to get the total to withdraw, it will just be this 484 plus this 248 that I will be taking out of the bank today. So that comes to a total of $732 
that we will be working with within our cash envelopes. So now that we know everything, I just head to the bank, get the cash, and then when I get back, we'll stuff those envelopes. All right, guys, I've returned from the bank and got the cash. So now we can get into the fun part and stuff these envelopes. First, let me lay out this money. So in this binder is where I keep my sinking funds and my debt snowball. Down here are the cash envelopes for the bills that I split in half and then these are my cash dividers that I keep in my wallet. So now that we got this set up, let's go ahead and get started. So we always start with cash envelopes. So let us do that. Here are our cash envelopes. First up we have car payment. Car payment is getting $42. So two 20s and two ones. And that's 20, 40, 41, 42. It is empty because as I said, I made the payment. So we will just go ahead and add this right in there. So that is done. Next is car insurance. That is getting $106. So 105 and a six, and that should complete the payment. I pay 211 every month for my car insurance. So let's make sure that we have that. 100, 200, 25, 210, and 211. So there we go. That is set and ready to be paid for that. Car insurance. And then lastly, we have Great Lakes. I'm adding 131, Oops, stay with it, 131, so 120, 30, 31, and this boy gets $263 every month, can't wait to start making some progress on this and get this out of my life. So now we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63. So now we have the total 263. Add this back into our envelope. And that is stuffed and ready. They're all ready and that is it. So after my cash envelopes, I move on to my cash dividers. So here we go with these. First up is spending. Spending will be getting $40. So 20, 10, and two fives. So 20, 30, 35, 40. And I do have a little bit of leftover from spending. So now I have 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43 dollars to spend on me and do what I want with that. Next up is groceries. Groceries does have quite a few money left over because I really didn't go grocery shopping, but I am having a very small Friendsgiving um, little dinner with my best friend and my cousin. So we will be going out to buy that. So it's good that I have some leftover because I'm going to use that money for that. And for groceries today, it will be getting $100, and I take that out all in 20s. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, $100 for the groceries. And now for a total, I now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 40, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. So $167, that should be more than enough, hopefully. I don't go too crazy at the grocery store. And you know, to have just a little fun unwind time because I normally go out of town for Thanksgiving and you know, it's gonna be weird, but my mom and I will have a good time with just us. Next up is toiletries. Toiletries will be getting $45, so. 20s and 5. 
So that is our 45. And I do have left over because I just, I took the week off and I just did not leave my house. So that's why <laughs> there's some money left over. So now I have 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So $80 within toiletries, that's nice. I have to stock up on some laundry detergent and fabric softener, so that will be spent quickly. And I might as well grab some toilet paper and some paper towels because people are going crazy again and taking them, so might as well get that if I can. So next up is clothing. Clothing will be getting $20, and I do have just a five left. So now I have $25 within clothing. After that is eating out, I will not be stuffing that. And miscellaneous is empty. I just use this to deposit any cash back into the ATM if I use it. Well, if I use my debit card. So now my dividers are good to go back in my wallet. Oh, and I can show you guys the inside of my wallet now. So yes, this is my new wallet in case you missed it. It's really cute. I gifted this for my birthday. So within the wallet, these are all of my credit cards and stuff all nicely displayed i like that i have a lot of holes for them because i hold a lot of credit cards i mean not credit cards just cards in general so um it has this little um what is this called like section in the back and that's where i keep my gas envelope it fits in real nicely back there and then in here is where i have the two placers and my coins that i put in so my cash dividers just fit nicely right back in here. And that is that for my wallet. I've been liking it. I've been using it for what, like um, a week and a half now. It took some adjusting, but every time I pull it out, I'm just like, oh, so cute. So yeah, I'm loving it. All right, enough of that. Now let's move back into our binder. And within our binder, we are just going to focus on our debt snowball. So there we go. And for this paycheck, we were putting away $248. So that is what we should have left. Why do I only have $100? What? Did I put an extra 100 somewhere? Oh. I left, I left $100 in the envelope. I was about to say, I was about to go crazy, y'all. Okay, so now we should have $248. So, let us make sure 100, 200, 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. All right, so 248, that is what we have. And now I can check my debt snowball envelope and get a count to see what we made so far in the month. All right. So now for November, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 dollars. 50, 70, 90, 1, oh no, I'm not about to, I can't think this morning, it's way too early for me to try and do math like that. All right, so this is $100. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 700, so 7, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 725 dollars whoa i did not even realize i had that much in here okay so we do have one more week that i am doing for uber and i'm going to count that last payment towards my debt snowball so once i see what that is then i'll have my total count for the month and I will put all of this towards the principal for my car payment so be sure to look out for that video and stick around for that it should be coming out on Wednesday but for now we will put this right back in our debt snowball envelope and that is that 
so as always i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for stopping by and budgeting with me if you enjoyed this video do not forget to go down below thumbs up the video and leave some comments because you know that helps and supports the channel and don't forget to subscribe to join the family so you do not miss where we are going next so i will see you guys next time in my next video bye guys